Hey guys, it's Syndicate here, and welcome to some Battlefield 4 gameplay. Now, I know if you're a hardcore Battlefield fan, or you've uh, been on YouTube at all recently, you probably already would have seen most of this gameplay that you're going to be checking out, but um, this was exclusive to me at the time when um, you know I actually got invited out by DICE in EA to uh, go and check out the Battlefield 4 reveal. Now, we were the first ones to see it. We were, you know, ahead of them Americans. Sorry about that, but uh, <laughs> the time schedule actually worked in our favor, but we couldn't post or talk about anything about Battlefield 4 until um, until the embargoes were lifted to actually go, hey, time's up, you can talk about it. And um, I wanted to talk about it like crazy, and then I got ill. So I've just been actually watching this trailer, watching what's been going on in the community, and just seeing what people's reactions are. And uh, I'm giving my two cents on what I think the game looks like and uh, what I feel is going to be awesome or, you know, that sort of thing. So, without a doubt, this game looks really good. You know, it does look absolutely beautiful and some of the best visuals I've ever seen in a video game in my life. Um, I'm not going to be the person to go, it's going to be the best game ever! Because it's a question like most of us can genuinely not answer. We've not played it, um, we've not seen multiplayer, we've not seen any, like, side campaign missions or anything like that, you know, like the co-op that they had, um, alternate to the campaign where you can unlock things for multiplayer and stuff like that. But I love something that what the DICE guys said, that they want to bring the multiplayer experiences into single player, for example, that huge friggin' explosion, using a grenade launcher to just wreck walls and go around pathways. It's not just a proper linear story. You can flank these enemies if you want to. You don't have to just sit behind a wall and get shot at. You can run all the way around them, take them down, and have a lot of fun with it. Now, the visuals look outstanding. You know, I did say it's the best looking game I have seen. You know, it's obviously run on PC, but, you know, this is going to be for the next gen consoles and I think current consoles as well. So it's still going to look absolutely gorgeous. Even on Xbox 360, the game looks good. P PlayStation 3, the game looks great. So on the next gen consoles, it's going to look amazing. And especially if you've got a high end PC like myself, you know, you're going to be able to run this game and it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. But if you're not a person who's after that, um, uh, let me advise you to try out like high-end gaming PC just for the fact of Battlefield do such an amazing job at using the current technology they have and just making the most of it. So, you know, the game looks just so, so beautiful. The colours look so vibrant and if you've got a, a good monitor, not just like some SD screen, you know, if you've got a full HD screen with get great colouring in it, then trust me, you're going to have such more of an immersive, enjoyable experience whilst playing because the explosions, the fire, you know, the facial emotions of the, peop of the people and the characters just look absolutely fabulous. Trust me, the, uh, <laughs> it's so hard to, like, express this if um, you've never seen it before. Like, for me, who plays on, you know, PC and Xbox, there is a huge difference between, uh, the, you know, the two qualities and... Like, seeing Battlefield 4 and people saying, you know, like, in the reviews and the comments and stuff of the trailer, people going, ah, the colour scheme looks dark and not as, you know, you know, it looks like Battlefield 3 doesn't look bright, doesn't look vibrant, which we were hoping to be more engaging for the game, but it actually does. It's just where you're watching the trailer, whether it be on a YouTube channel or a bad TV or something like that. I've seen what the game's meant to look like, you know, what it was created to and designed to look like, and it looks amazing i'm really excited to see what the actual gameplay feels like and get my hands on it so hopefully we can see you know like some more details for that please <laughs> and so if you know yeah you want to be like nice because dude i've been hammering battlefield 3 like crazy recently i've been putting more time into that game um on end game with bikes and bikes and bikes because i've been trying to do my target of drive a bike into a jet strap with c4 and blow that mother trucker up because that is a target i've set and guess what that is something you can only do in battlefield baby it's a lot of fun this game has a lot to offer i hope and you know by the looks of it they've gone all out with visuals the campaign the style of it you know the storyline more engaging that's great hopefully multiplayer and like the little side co-op missions as well if they've still got them will be the set you know we'll have more to offer so i'm really excited for it and all i'm going to say is fingers crossed dinosaurs